They're off in the poker. And obviously goes straight out to the lead with force the pass. King Crease on the far outside and Grand Arch is at the rail. And they're four lengths clear already of offering plan and takeover target. So they hook up with the backstretch and obviously is in front. No surprises here. Obviously, obviously, he's the leader. He's on top by two lengths up the backstretch. King Creesa, second to the outside. Grand Arch running in third. Forced the pass. Well held early in fourth here. Four and a half lengths off the lead. And clear of the two backrunners offering plan and takeover target. That first quarter was 23 seconds flat. The pace is decent enough, but obviously not flying along early on here. He's in front by a length and three quarters under Jose Lescano. King Crease of the New York Bread is second on the outside. Grand Arch rides the rail, forced the pass, travels well fourth. Five lengths to offering plan and takeover target. Obviously, it's run a 45 and four half mile. And the speedy Californian heads round the far turn in the poker with a length and a half lead over New York Bread King Crease. Forced the pass, comes alive and moves up three wide. Grand Arch is under a heavy drive in fourth as they come toward the top of the stretch. Obviously, in front. Obviously turns for home after three quarters in 108 and three. And is set down with one furlong to run. Force the pass. His three lengths behind him in second. Obviously comes by the eighth pole. He's four in front. And then it's forced the pass. Offering plan and takeover target. But there is no catching the wire to wire winner of the poker. It is obviously. Who won it by four lengths over force the pass. And then it was offering plan and takeover target and a final time of 1 minute 31.65 seconds.